And welcome to another edition of the Inside Texas Football YouTube channel, powered by InsideTexas.com. I'm your host, Justin Wells. We're flipping it around today. We got Joe Cook on the scene for another practice report. And if I'm a Texas fan, that's exactly what I need. First things you got to do, you got to come see us at InsideTexas.com. There is not a better time to sign up, catch one of our deals. Come see us at InsideTexas.com and please like that video. Subscribe to the Inside Texas YouTube channel. We are getting closer to 10,000. Help us get past that threshold so we can really start rocking and rolling. Joe Cook on the scene. It's hot, but you know what? It, it, it's August and football season is happening. J- Joe's in a it, in one of our favorite places. Um, let's just get right to it. Fans want to know how practice was today. You know, how much contact did you see today? And, and, and how, you know, what, what kind of transpired? Man, there's nothing better than walking up to the Denius Fields, seeing the helmets, seeing the shoulder pads, and seeing real football pants instead of shorts. Uh, it gets you real excited, lets you know that everything's not that far away here as we are on uh, August 6th. But uh, we got to see some contact, got to see them work on tackling a little bit, and I'm really curious to see how that goes. Steve Sarkeesian talked about on Monday night how they will have one live period during this this practice, uh, but they're still going to work on tackling throughout. Uh, but we got to see a little bit of some tackling drills with some pads. Then we got to see a little bit of special teams as well. One of our shorter uh, viewing windows, nothing like that first when we were in there for 45 minutes or anything like oh, that. Nothing that like so Monday where, uh, where Ian Boyd and I were there and got to see some 11 on 11 drills. Uh, yeah. But still very, very worthwhile to be there. Uh, got to see some guys pop in their pads a little on other pads instead of other people quite to that point, but still an exciting time here for Texas football. Listen, it's going and watching practice is one thing, but it's different when they're thumping with pads on. That's when it's gr- That's when the grown men come out to play. And, and that's what it's always fun to see, you know, special teams is get, you know, we talk so much about offense and defense, but Joe, we got to we got to give Jeff Banks some love. The third phase of the game, and you even know it. If anybody's ever checked out Joe Cook's huddle from high school, punter, kicker, specialist, extraordinaire. What are what, what's kind of the, the special teams? Kind of you know just a little bit of the uh, of the depth right now. We know kicker, we know punter, but what about the return men? Because I feel like Texas has an immense amount of speed and depth in the return game. What was what, what was something you caught today from that? They are not afraid to deploy their first string guys there at returner. Remember last year, it was Xavier Worthy, and that led to touchdowns. Yeah. That led to great field position. Good point. That led to opportunities for the offense. They're not going to put, you know, some second string guy. They're not going to put somebody back there just to to field fair catches. They are not afraid to put frontline guys out there. Jonte Cook. This is in no particular order. Jonte yeah. Cook, Isaiah Bond, DeAndre Moore. Jaden Blue and Matthew Golden were a few of the guys back there fielding punts, fielding punts from Charlie Ferris to walk on from Michael Kern, the true freshman. There was one shank. Uh, I didn't see who it came from, uh, but if you if you Ooh. play golf, if you do anything, you get one every now and then. That's the yeah. first one I can recall seeing in these media windows. I've been to every one. We see a lot of special teams in these windows. That's the only one I recall seeing. Uh, The other uh, impressive thing and important thing to track uh, was Gunner, and they are still training Silas Bolden there at Gunner. Uh, That's someone who they feel – I think a lot of people thought when he first committed, okay, this is new Keelan Robinson. That holds true to an extent, and that's true in the fact that they they are training him at Gunner. We will see how much his offense and and the responsibilities on offense factor in to how much he plays Gunner, but they're giving him a shot there. Trying to sort through my notes and look through some of the other guys who were there at Gunner. Uh, DeAndre Moore did a little bit of both, did some Gunner for a really? rep or two, did some uh, punt return for a little bit, good zero back there, uh, getting a little bit of action all over the place. So, And the other fun thing, I love talking about this, I know some special teams coaches at the uh, FBS level, they – view Jeff Banks special teams clinics as must attend events. 
because, you know, you get up there at, let's say you're at the high school coaches association in San Antonio, they get up there, Jeff Banks gets up there and it's like, I'm not going to waste any time. You knew who I am. And that raspy voice of his, and it is straight energy from the start. So uh, that was the case uh, here um, with, with special teams today on Tuesday, uh, Jeff Banks energetic. Uh, it was also kind of interesting to see uh, before we go into some of the contact drills, uh, interesting to see Michael Huff interacting with Will Stone and Burt Auburn. I know this is a special teams centric talk. It seems like that's all we got to see. Uh, but Michael Huff is there. He's still part of the program, proudly part of the program. Yeah. And he had a lot of fun with Will Stone, with Michael Kern, or excuse me, with Will Stone, Will, with Burt Auburn. There were a few times when it was just a punter's punting those kickers back there and he's telling uh, Will Stone, but you can't catch it, but you can't catch it. He's having a good time. So uh, still a lot of fun back there uh, for, for someone like Michael Huff, who's still staying a part of the program. Someone who is a part of our program who you need to go check out. That is Gabe Winslow, a longtime Longhorn. One of the smartest people we know, a longtime friend of inside Texas is you, if you are looking to buy a home and you need a lender, Justin, how many does he have access to? At least 70. 70 at least. Minimum. You're going to want to get in touch with Gabe Winslow. So head to mortgagesbygabe.com or give him a call. 832-557-1095. Justin, what else you got for me? I was out there, like I I said, wasn't that long. You you piqued my interest. Listen, I got a question for you. Last week, Silas Bolden was – at the at the early of the, at the front of the line returning kicks. Now he's doing and, and, and punt return as well. Now he's doing some gunner. I feel like that kid can't come off the field because we watch him in practice. We, we we hear about it in the summertime how he's destroying and it's out of nowhere for two the last two months. Then he's doing you know he looks fantastic during these open practices. Um, man, it, it's Silas Bolden. I, I think that guy's going to qualify this year. I think he's going to get a lot of reps on, on, in different facets, where do you think he would be more of a strength in that gunner role or back there fielding it and using his feet to maybe scoot down the field? That's a good point. And, and, and to that point, he probably in, in some of the other periods we didn't see, he's probably taking punt returns as well. Like he's, he's done that yes. in, in, in sessions you've seen, uh, but they're trying everything out. It's a, it's a good time to try various things out. I mean, Jaden blue, that's someone who is just on the Doak Walker list, uh, watch list today. And yeah. to think that he's going to be taking uh, punt return opportunities super often when he's also maybe tasked with 15 or so carries, we'll see how that goes. So they're still in the experimental stage. But, man, he is someone so, so valuable. I mean, if you like you said, if you think of Keelan Robinson, he had Jonathan Brooks ahead of him. He had C.J. Baxter ahead of him, at least as far as just – getting carries but he's still yeah. someone that found a way to be just needed for this team did it on special teams did it on multiple phases and i could see silas bolden doing that as well someone who is valuable in the return game valuable at gunner remember keelan robinson i think he caught a touchdown pass a pass one that far in the big 12 championship game next thing we know he is making a tackle on special teams so uh, i i do feel like silas bolden is someone who could be that valuable. But again, you have to weigh his snaps like you weighed Xavier Worthy snaps. You can't have them on everything. They had Worthy playing pretty much every down on offense and then doing punt return, but that was it. They didn't have him doing kick return as well or gunner. Uh, So we'll see what happens. It's someone who we've seen at the X wide receiver spot, someone who I'm pretty sure continued at that X wide receiver spot today, maybe in the second stream form like he's been with guys like uh, John Tay Cook, Isaiah Bond, uh, and even like we saw on Monday, DeAndre Moore there at slot. He was there maybe in the mix at the second team, but he was in the boundary. Uh, he was behind Isaiah Bond. Uh, he's someone who they just have a lot of faith with. I'm going to keep repeating it over and over. Seems like Jakeem Grant. He may not be catching a 1,000 yards in an air raid offense, but he's going right. to be part of an offense that gets him the ball, gets him the ball regularly. Not a gadget guy, just a short wide receiver who knows how to get open. I love what you also mentioned, Jaden Blue, and he's on the Doak Walker Award watch list today. He was on the Paul Horning watch list late last week, 
And in and, and some parts, because he's a versatile guy, you know, we talk a lot of, we've heard a lot about Silas Bolden, but Jaden Blue is, is another guy that he's going to see the field a lot, whether it be 15, 20 carries, whether it be in the kick return, punt return role. Uh, it's an embarrassment of riches. I think Jeff Banks goes home happy every night, Joe. I think this might, this may not be his best punter, but this might be his best from a, you know, physical standpoint. This might be his best specialist, you know, from a, from a return st- standpoint, you know, Jeff Banks has to sleep well at night. And don't forget Jaden Blue when they kept trying to throw Keelan Robinson with a cast on out there during the Sugar Bowl, they finally came to their senses and said, you know what, let's put number 23 back there and get him some returns. And they worked pretty well. He had a great yeah. game then, so they trust him a lot. Man, we've talked about it a lot on this channel, but someone who has just come a long way from – a, a player, not very many fans, and even some of us on Inside Texas, we struggle to believe in him because yeah. you get better at playing football by playing football. He did not do that his senior year of high school, and now here we are talking about him on the Doak Walker watch list. So it says a lot about the development and his own personal effort. He proved us wrong. Yes. Good for him. He, it, and I, I'm glad to admit that we were wrong about that, but he proved us wrong. He proved that you can be, you, you can do that still succeed looking forward to seeing what he does this year on uh, on the Texas Longhorns and Sark Sark you know give him credit you know we were kind of down on that recruitment we didn't know exactly how it would spin out Sark stayed the stayed the stayed the course he could have hit the portal the last two years no he's good he's staying the course I was definitely wrong on that one and, and I love when that happens any other little tidbits while you're you're cooking at Posse East while they're getting my hey. uh, my club sandwich ready Make sure you head to all the Inside Texas socials. Stay on this YouTube channel. Head to Inside Texas on Twitter. Uh, we're on Facebook, on Instagram. We're going to have a bunch of great stuff you'll be able to check out as far as clips from practice. Wasn't a whole lot, but still, uh, you're not going to get that anywhere else. Uh, no. Make sure you stay here for that. Head to our socials for anything else. And, of course, head to Inside Texas for all the best updates. All your best re- practice reports, recruiting updates. We got we got some videos popping tomorrow. We got a re- we got a commitment ceremony tomorrow. I'll be in Gar in, in Saxe outside of Garland, Texas, for Khalid Lockett's deal. Come ch- check us out at Inside Texas. Come check us out here at the Inside Texas Football YouTube channel. Just stay tuned. There's always good stuff. Joe Cook, always a pleasure when you're on the scene doing it like you do it, and that's about as good as it gets. Like our video. Subscribe to the Inside Texas Football YouTube channel. Get us to that 10K. We need you. We want you. We love you. Come hang out with us. And then, hey, don't ever forget, thank you for making us a part of your day and being a part of the Inside Texas Football YouTube channel powered by InsideTexas.com.